Welcome to a one slide show from Bioscience O'Clock. Today we are talking about the coronavirus, its mechanism, how it spreads, and ways to prevent its spreading. Human coronaviruses were described in the 1960s in patients with the common cold. Currently, there are seven types of coronaviruses known to infect humans. Among those, some cause the common cold, but others, such as SARS-CoV-1, MERS-CoV, and the most recent SARS-CoV-2, cause severe respiratory diseases. COVID-19 refers to the coronavirus disease of 2019. The causative agent is the SARS-CoV-2, whose acronym means Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. The coronavirus term refers to the crown appearance that these kind of viruses have. Corona is the Latin word for crown. The virus's spherical surface is surrounded by a series of spike proteins, giving it the appearance of a crown. It is in the spike protein where the receptor binding domain is located. The virus has a membrane protein M, an envelope protein E, a hemagglutinin esterase protein HE. Inside, we find a nucleocapsid, the N protein, and the virus genome as a positive sense single-stranded RNA. To infect a cell, the coronavirus needs to bind to a receptor, in this case, the angiotensin-converting enzyme 2, a transmembrane protein. This receptor is located primarily in the lungs, the vesculature, intestines, and kidneys. The receptor binding domain of the spike protein finds the ACE2 receptor and infects the cell with the help of the transmembrane serine protease 2. During this process, the virus and cell membranes fuse and the virus releases its genetic material into the cell. Using the host cell machinery, the virus produces the necessary proteins for its replication. Subsequently, it produces more copies of its genomic RNA and subgenomic RNA, which serve as templates to translate into viral structural proteins. These proteins are produced in a double membrane vesicle inside the cell. With newly produced viral proteins and genomic RNA, the new virus assembles and is released ready to find a new host cell. Ideally, our immune system is able to clear the infection, which happens in patients with moderate symptoms. However, in some cases, our immune system can be overwhelmed with the excess inflammation and can contribute to damaging even more tissue than that already caused by the virus. In the lungs, this can cause diffuse alveolar injury. The pulmonary alveoli are the sacs where an exchange of gases between the air we breathe and our blood takes place in order to distribute oxygen to our body. Diffuse alveolar injury makes this exchange of gas more difficult. This is characteristic of the acute respiratory distress syndrome and is one of the main causes of death among COVID-19 patients. COVID-19 spreads through the droplets we release from our mouth when we talk, cough, or sneeze. These droplets containing the virus can remain in the air for three hours, on copper for four hours, on cardboard for 24 hours, on stainless steel for 48 hours, and on plastic for 72 hours. The incubation period of SARS-CoV-2 is seven to 14 days. Someone, like person A, who during this period or with asymptomatic infection touches his face, coughs, or sneezes and covers his mouth with his hand, transfers these droplets to his hand, around his face, as well as remaining suspended in the air. If later, person A greets person B and shakes his hand, he then transfers these droplets with the virus to person B. If person B doesn't wash his hands and touches his face, he can get infected with the virus and get sick. Some of the common sick symptoms are cough, fever, shortness of breath, chills, muscle pain, sore throat, new loss of smell or taste. 
That's why it's important to follow the recommendations to prevent the spread of the virus. Stay home. Don't go out unless it's absolutely necessary. Wash your hands with water and soap for at least 20 seconds. Keep your distance. Stay at least six feet apart from others in public spaces. Wear a mask. Don't touch your face and cover your cough and sneezes with a disposable tissue. Let's protect each other. I hope you've learned a bit more about the coronavirus, and if you like the video, share it. See you next time on the One Slide Show from Bioscience O'Clock.